स्टैक प्लॉट और एरिया चार्ट यूजली वी यूज दिस स्टैक प्लॉट और एरिया चार्ट इन केस ऑफ शोइंग द प्रोग्रेशन बाय टाइम दैट इज टाइम सीरीज सो वेन एवर वी आर वर्किंग ऑन टाइम सीरीज डेटा एंड इफ वी आर सपोज टू शो द प्रोग्रेशन बाय टाइम वी यूज एरिया चार्ट नाउ यू मॉज इफ यू हैव सीन द वीडियो ऑन लाइन चार्ट और इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी वर्क ऑन लाइन चार्ट यू मॉज वी थिंकिंग दैट वॉट वी ऑल्सो डू इन केस ऑफ लाइन चार्ट so you are right it's just a different way of representation but it works most likely a line chart so this is how we represent this and create the line chart uh, sorry area chart hello welcome everyone to learn area to understand the concept clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon we will start with how to create a basic area chart or a stack plot in python using matplotlib and then we will add some advancement to it like changing the color using multiple variables adding legends etc we will also see how to use the baselines in area chart or stack plot let's go to the python ide and see how to do this so here i have created a basic data set which shows a bank data where it is representing the changes in products like cards mortgages and wef by year right like starting from 2015 and ending at 2020 the values are in millions let's start with creating a basic stack plot or area chart we say plt dot stack plot and so if you look at the if you want to see what all are the arguments just need to click over this and press control plus i so it says provide x value which you want to show at x axis then arguments then labels colors baseline data etc and quarks quarks stands for keywords or key arguments right so first we going to provide the x axis value which is years from the broad data frame and on y axis we want to show the changes in product called cards let me switch to the plot tab and select run this selection so here we have the first stack plot created or you may call it area chart created so this just shows the changes in cards by the years now if you want to show legends so that you could understand what does this represented what is it represented over here for that you can just add plt dot legend and in the parenthesis operator you can just provide a list of values which you want to show here let me run this like you can see cards is added over here now let's see how we can include multiple variables so whatever variables you want to include into this particular stack plot you just going to put them here one by one let's see broad and then other product which we going to use is mortgage and then the next variable which we want to use is vaf and these three products or these three variables needs to be included in legend list as well so here we're going to say mortgage and then the next one we're going to say is vaf select this and run this so like you can see all the three variables has been plotted in one stack plot or in one area chart and on the x axis you can see years are plotted and each of this area represents to each of the product this one represents to cards then orange one represents to mortgage and then green one represents to bank now let's see how we can 
change the colors nothing much just gonna provide a tuple of colors so you have plotted three variables you need to provide three colors let's say red green and blue let's run this all right so now you can see the color have been changed there is one more thing which we can do with area plot or stack plot and that is called changing the baseline now what are the baseline which we can use over here that you can check out from the it's matplotlib's official website which is this i'll be providing the link into the description section just check it out and you can see the definition of each of the baselines i'm going to use sim which stands for symmetrical all right symmetrical to zero so sometime you might wish to show the values in negative as well as in positive so in that situation you can use sim so this is how you can create stack plot or area chart in python using matplotlib i just hope i clarified the doubt on how to create the area chart or stack plot just in case if you have any kind of doubt do not forget to put that into the comment section i'll definitely get back to you thank you once again